What's up, YouTube? Uh, I have a little bit of a pink face. I got sunburnt yesterday. Now, I didn't get sunburnt on purpose. It was one of those typical, like, March days where it doesn't feel, like, really hot. Like, it was perfect hiking weather, probably, like, in the 50s. But sure enough, I got sunburnt because it was my first time spending, like, probably around 14, 15 miles outside hiking around for sheds yesterday. And I was actually going for elk sheds and I found some really old deer sheds and some really old, well, I'm not gonna spoil it because there's a video coming, but I found some really cool stuff. So definitely stay tuned for that video. But today I wanted to give you a little update because first of all, I have eight new members of the Fable family. So I have to share that with you guys. Second of all, I have a series name for the whole quarantine series I was telling you about. And third of all, I want to update you guys on the Scout to Hunt um, contest, the Hunt Before contest they're, they're doing because a lot of us are quarantined. We're supposed to stay home, stay inside. I think some people are taking that wrong. Really what you can do to stop the spread is not be around people right? Not spread it from person to person and so on. If you're going out shed hunting by yourself, shed hunting with one or two other people that you know have been following the quarantine rules as well, I think you're safe. What do you guys think? That's a pretty controversial subject. I see people who are like, stay home, blah, blah, blah. Personally, if I just walk out my backyard and go look for sheds and I don't come in contact with a single person, I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. What do you guys think? Please comment below because like I said, it's controversial. I've seen, I've seen some stuff going on on Instagram. Stay home. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> anyway, um, I've even gone so far as I've got a ton of gas cans filled up because I'm not going to the grocery store I'm not going to the gas station through any of this I'm literally gonna drive around in my truck shed hunt and that's it or walk around outside Anywhere in shed hunt. That's all I'm gonna do anyway So there's a lot to get over so let's start right with it Um, I guess I'm not gonna go in that order because we'll show you the eight new babies in the grand finale Let's start out with the quarantine series name because it feeds right in to the scout to hunt contest because one of the other judges it was actually his idea so if you guys know ben shed crazy um he is one of the scout to hunt judges as well and i asked people on instagram as well as here on youtube hey what should i name the series you guys and there were so many funny ones you guys know i do the bridge and brooks the trailer cook series one girl said uh bridge and brooks the quarren cooks which was pretty funny um, I might end up using that for some cooking videos. What else was there? There were some really good ones. There was quarantini, <laughs> just funny stuff. But the one that just clicked right away and I was like, this is the most practical, came from Ben Shed Crazy and it is um, the Quarren Queen series. So I'll be your host, the Quarren Queen. And uh, I guess Brookie's the Quarren Princess, right? And I actually got props for it. So I will show you there we're gonna have fun with it and it's gonna be a great great time because all i want to do is like i'm not mad about this quarantine thing at all unfortunately this quarantine thing is gonna ruin a lot of relationships ruin a lot of friendships because if you really believe in following the rules and keeping yourself safe you're kind of gonna have to say hey you can't come over or, hey i can't do this i can't do that and it puts everybody in a sticky situation but you know, I'm not one of those people who thinks I'm above it and, oh, I won't get sick. Oh, I won't die. I don't like to expect the worst, but I think everybody is equally at risk for the worst in this situation, and I don't want to mess around with it. So I'm playing it safe, and I'm going to live it up. Like, I'm, I'm going to share throughout the series all these random fun things that I'm going to do to make it fun, and you guys can do the very same things. Now, here's some examples of what I'm going to do. Um, okay, so first of all, I have to finish my bunkhouse anyway. Yard work, housework, all that stuff is you guys is something that you guys can participate in. So I have to put the beds together in the bunkhouse, set it up, decorate the walls, paint the baseboards, put the curtains up. That's gonna be really fun. Um another thing. So like weird nerdy things I wanna do. Um I found this malachite vein one day and I wanna go look at it again. I was actually setting trail cameras when 
I was hiking down literally this straight up and down cliff area where I had saw deer go up and down. So I was in the area setting trail cameras and I found this malachite vein. I haven't back to it. I haven't been back to it since 2017. So I want to go with my rock hammer and look at it and analyze the samples. Malachite is a really beautiful like turquoise colored um rock and it's it's kind of similar to azurite sometimes you'll find them both together so it'd be fun to explore other things look for sheds um plant a garden i ordered a bunch of like desert wildflowers and vegetables that grow well in the desert and some potting soil some herbs and all that and i'm gonna create my own little homestead here and take you guys along More the way things i can do i've been wanting to build like a really cool archery lane in my backyard um, I have a lot of stuff to build and set up. I want to fence in my property. Um, I think I'm working on the neighbors with that. I got to figure out when they want to do it because I would love to do it sooner than later. And really, like, I just want to adventure. I want to adventure so bad. I want to walk straight out of my backyard to the public land and explore. I want to set trail cameras, find new deer spots. I have a bunch of trail cameras still up and I want to go check them. So it's gonna be busy and it's all gonna be great things. And like I said, I just wanna pass it on that, you know, I don't feel bad being quarantined at all. I'm gonna enjoy it. Yeah, it's weird not being able to like go socialize and get a burger with friends. But you know what, at the end of the day, it's for the greater good, so I'm, so I'm on board with it. And yeah, one last thing, I did tell you guys about this in the last video if you watched it. Um, the world isn't a scary place right now. A lot of people are losing their jobs. It's scary. And I know that you guys are feeling it across the country, across the world, because it's not just Utah, it's everywhere. And, you know, I'm gonna keep on going with my YouTube series because, you know, I'm living the same life as you guys. I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow, but at the same time, I'm gonna be positive. I'm gonna keep it normal. I'm gonna do what I would normally do, except stay away from people. And let's be honest, you guys have watched my trailer living series. You know I stay away from people, so it's all good. So anyway, I think that's a good segue. Like I said, Ben created the name, came up with the name. So he's also a judge. Me, Ben Shed Crazy, Ben Sandal, and Wes are uh, all judges, there's four of us, and the Scout to Hunt contest, the hunt before, goes from now until May 4th. You have to hashtag the hunt before, and there's three categories. Now listen up. Category one, sidekick. You and your hunting buddy, your dog, your cat, your chicken, your kid, your wife, your grandpa, whatever it is. Sidekick is, you can win that category with a photo relating to that. Next one is Prime. Prime is high quality, high quality, expensive, fancy camera gear. Anything in that category could win the Prime category. The last and third category is Oddity. This is like how you found the shed, a photo that tells the story of you walking up to the shed, you finding the shed, the shed finding you, whatever happens. Okay, so the winner of each of those categories gets to bring a plus one and go on an all-inclusive, all-paid-for shed hanging trip with me and the other three judges and the Scout to Hunt team. So it will be like an overnight thing. The plan now is for May 22nd. Some people on Instagram have asked me if it would be changed because of the coronavirus. You know, we're all living day to day, so we'll figure that out. Right now, mark your calendars. If you win, the date the date will be uh, May 22nd. And yeah, that's gonna be really fun. You literally get to shed hunt with me. We would shed hunt and camp together, all of us. It'd be great. We have campfires. You also win some like cool gear and stuff like that otherwise. And then the main grand prize winner overall, the judges, we're gonna pick the people who win each category. After that, the major grand prize winner, this is totally separate from the category winners. There will be one overall gigantic grand prize winner and they will win $2,000 towards a hunt of their choice. So it's like Scout to Hunt is sponsoring your hunt with $2,000 cash. So, you know, think about what you do with that. Would you get a tag? Would you get more better equipment? Would you get 10 trail cameras? Would you get whatever? Whatever it is, $2,000 towards your hunt, which is amazing. That's it, you guys. I'll put a link below so you can find out the information to enter. Let's go to the main event. Let me show you my new babies. Okay, the second bathroom is currently overrun with chickens. 
<laughs> baby ticks. I've had them for almost a week now. I'm going to go through and tell you each one's name. I have to show you guys while they're still little because they're growing so fast. So I have two of each type. This one here, this one's name is Bailey. And then I grabbed the next black one. This one is Guinness. This one my mom and sister actually named. They didn't like the name I picked out for it and because it was black. And because we are Irish, we decided to call it Guinness. <laughs> What up, sunshine? So cute. I love Peaches. This. Say hey, Peaches. Hey, cute. this is Jolene. What up, Jolene? Jolene. Jolene. And this is River. Say hey, River. Hey, hey. Don't be quiet These now. These are the biggest of the bunch. This is Antler. What's up, Antler? These are so big for chicks. It's gonna be big old chicks. This chick is Daisy. What's up, Daisy? I can't believe I remembered all their names. Eight names is hard. So these are the babies. I have a nice chicken coop for them. I just need to put it together. But right now they're under a heat lamp and they're inside where it's nice and warm while they're still little babies. And they are just so fun to watch. Aren't they cute? What's up, guys? We'll be having farm fresh Fable Farm eggs in six months, you guys. Well, there you have it. You guys can expect a lot more videos of the chickens. Brookie actually gets along with them. I'm gonna put some clips of Brookie and the chickens at the end of this video. Don't worry, I'm super careful when uh, I put Brookie around the chicks. I'm so burnt and so pink. <gasps> Sorry, mom. Um, and yeah, I'm just super careful, okay? So careful. <laughs> so I'm super careful when I put them around each other, but Brookie is just such a domesticated, pampered little house cat. She literally could not care less with them. She just wants them to play with her and they don't know what to think of her. <laughs> anyway, guys, lots of cool chicken videos coming up. I'll build the coop for you guys and show you guys that. I'll kind of take you along the journey as they grow. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I asked you guys a couple questions in this video. You better answer them all. But I'm going to add an another one right here, which is, which chicken was your favorite? Was it because of the name or the way it looked? Which one's your favorite? They're all so cute. So cute. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful day, everybody. Wow. Thank you so much for watching, you guys, and we will see you on the next YouTube video. Stay tuned. The Quarren Queen series will go live later this week. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Love you guys. Have a good day.